Man, it's crazy how folks are doing you. <laughs> but Christ, he's true to the end. I'm glad we got a friend in Christ. Thought I had friends till I realized what was going on. They blinding on me, trying to not be out my position. Thought you succeeded, but I realized that I didn't need it. A fake girl or a fake friend, both to lead to a dead end. I'm rapping Christ. Alright, I told y'all later on from the video the other day I was going to come back and show you some of the uh, stereo mods I've had I've done and um, had to do. The old Bose system went out. Now I've got two songs playing in the background that I'm allowed to play for uh, licensing and uh, permission reasons. So it's, they're going to be repeating. But uh, I'm going to walk you through what I've done. The first thing I done when the bows, before the bows went out that I realized what was happening was I added a sub. I added a uh, kicker. Now the lows are really the lows in this song, and this is uh, the same song from the video I did the other day because he gave me permission to use his stuff just to get his name out there. But uh, Christ Life Haters has got a lot of low bass in it. You can feel it more than you can hear it. Now I'm going to post pictures as I uh, describe these to you, but uh, the rear pillars here needed a lot more work because the old bows were like an odd, an odd size. So, uh, we pop. But uh, I put six and a half three ways in here because they had a really odd size bows in there and they didn't quite fit. And no adapter that I bought fit. I had to, uh, I had to use uh, some engineering and put a long screw on the back side to angle it and two screws. Like, I put three points, but it is. It fits in there perfectly and angled and far enough behind this that it doesn't hit. But it sounds really, really good. over there as y'all saw in the other video which I'm gonna explain I took some thin plywood and put six and a half six by nine five ways in here and the highs and the mids sound really good coming out of here I wish I could play some of the more acoustic music for you but uh my copyright I'm trying to keep my copyright claims down because eventually when they monetize I'd like to be making it more often I'm having to pay for the to the companies that take the percentage Now, uh, 
the Pioneer head unit, like I said, is not staying in here. It got damaged during a uh, service. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been finding some nice flip-out ones. I'm going to keep the single DN and the, uh, the factory look without going to double DN. I'm going to get a flip-out monitor, and I found some in town that seemed really well, seemed to work really well. And uh, I'm going to go under the hood now and show you everything that had to be done. Most of you stereo people know, I'm just walking you through what I've done to this old vet. Let me pause here and uh, let me show you. When I say old used vet, this is what I'm talking about. This is all original. It's never been documented. It's ever been replaced. The, it's got the factory LS6 in it from the factory. Nothing's modified. I'll show you under the hood when I pop it. Let's go ahead and cut the music off since I walk you through the stereo. The song playing right now is called Echoes Lice. By lyric, words and lyrics are done by me. And uh, the artist is the artist that did the background music that did the track that I bought the license to in order to put it out on all media formats is uh, Dan Soon. D A N S O N N. I'll put that in the description and the link to his music. I might just leave the music run that way I won't have to do background music when I when I edit and cut the video. All right, let's go up front to the battery, show you everything that has to be done. But like I said, you stereo guys know this stuff. But I, these are Corvette batteries normally hook up side posts down here, but this one stripped, this uh, post over here got you can tell looking down in there, the bolt pulled completely out of it and tore it out. So I went top post anyway and it helped me do all my, this is my new ground cable I did. My old ground cable was horrible. Let's see. I went all the way down in there, did a new ground cable. And this is the new hot cable to the to the uh, amp. I did an amp kit all the way back. Eight gauge seems to work fine. It doesn't get too hot. As you can tell, it's been running all day. I've been out driving with my daughter and my son all day long. And uh, it's not hot to the touch at all. Not even this one. They're not, there's no electrical issues going on with it. It's not burning around the uh, end or nothing. So I think the 8 gauge kit's working fine for me at the moment. I might not be getting the cleanest power from it, but my lights aren't flickering anymore. Y'all more through this project as I um 
<clears throat> I don't have corona. I live in Alabama. This is snot, not corona, okay? <clears throat> it's called allergies. That's why the paint has a yellow tint to it. When I, when I rinse it off every day, it's called pollen. Pollen will even get through your tent that's a garage. I'm just doing like this. Well, let me get through your tent that's a garage. If it's got any kind of gaps in it, if those flaps blow all night long, pollen does get in that tent. But most of the time, this pollen situation is from just getting out and driving. If you park more than 30 seconds in Alabama this time of year, you'll come out to a yellow car. So, uh, I'm gonna lead y'all out with a little bit of this music and uh, the sunset. Christ, he's true today. I'm glad we got a friend in Christ. Thought I had friends till I realized what was going on. They're plotting on me, trying to knock me out my position. Thought you succeeded, but I realized that I didn't need it. God bless y'all. Have a great evening wherever you are. Stay safe during all this. Uh, I, I know a lot of people have mixed issues on what we're doing, but all I'm trying to do right now uh, is get a little bit of happiness and get some people's get people's minds off of what's going on. Now there are other issues I believe is hidden behind this whole coronavirus that we're trying to be distracted from because if you look at the survival numbers over the death numbers it's not nearly as bad as what it is I'm just trying to put some happiness and some joy out there in the world and I want to let people inside on the projects I'm doing and my passion for whatever we do as a family and uh, you know I, I want people to see my passion for this project it's not just solely because of a, a car but because it does help me keep my sanity uh, and uh, to get out of the house being a retired being a retired vet and not having a job anymore and uh, trying to do some entrepreneurial stuff on my own and do some nonprofit and uh, philanthropy you know stuff out of my heart uh in the future it's gonna have to be a future goal a future project oh i actually put my hands over this i try to change my focus a little bit because that light right there behind my shoulder is messed up the video but yeah i'm just trying to set some goals and uh do good get the word and the service and everything that we do out there and uh, give some glory to God in the dark, in the dark times. We, we are going to be the light people. We are going to be the light. You know, I, I see a lot of good going on with what people are doing. I'm trying to find the lens so I can look right at it because if I look straight ahead it like right in the middle of the phone. It's weird. I hope to get a new phone soon. But, um, you know, we've got to be the light that shines in the darkness. And I see a lot of that going on with pe with uh, other people and everything that's uh, happening. 
and I, I see a lot more good going on than the bad that wants to get reported. Uh, but uh, if y'all enjoy my vet head life, click like and subscribe on this video, share it, click the subscribe down there. This is a 25 mile per hour street. All right, click like and subscribe. Follow My Vet Head Life. Follow Project 2001 Z06. More to come. I'm not done yet. I'm trying to do cosmetic and sound stuff right now to get it enjoyable to drive before the new motor gets built. Y'all saw, old girl's got nearly 248,000 on her. So, uh, I got to start buying a block, building little by little, and have a motor ready to pop in if the, if the heart ever dies in this one. God bless y'all. Have a great day, and please follow this channel if you uh, enjoy it, because I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do some uh, reviews coming up this summer as well. If you've watched any of the Gadget Garage that I'm that I'm working on as well, I would like to do reviews because. Uh, uh, Amazon and eBay people have sent me a few things that I've reviewed on there that I really like. I mean, discount headphones and everything. Have a good night. Follow us. Here. Mama, mama, can't you see what these haters did to me?